so here I am patrolling the streets of the little piece of shit town that's in the background of my epic shit. And this is alright, this is alright. Your town's just alright, okay? Don't get a big hit. And I'm thinking about doing something kind of dickish. Um, I want to make everything be cartoons, but I'm really tempted to build this creepypasta Slenderman build that I saw. And I want to build it like right here just to harass this town. Just be a dick to all these assholes. And then this guy, this dude, I don't know what he is. But like, dude, you're all alone. You're lucky that there's no monsters around. Because you're all alone, and you have no back to your little hut. So, you're lucky there's no monsters, because you'd be fucked. Just saying. So, I'm really tempted to break my rule of this being tunes only, and put the big Slender Man thing here, just to have this, like, giant faceless demon looming over this town, but... I, I don't know, I might find something... Something, something really, really, really ugly to put there. Um, but anyway, today I managed to create two more things. Uh, you can see them there in the background uh, on either side of the Steven Universe house. I haven't built the Teen Titans Tower yet. I am still planning on doing that. Uh, we'll get to the big boy over there here in a second. But uh, I built something that kind of goes along with Steven's house. Uh, and it's this spider looking thing over here. Uh, fans of the Steven Universe show should recognize this, or roughly recognize this. This is Blue Diamond's palanquin. And, well, quite frankly, since I'm pretty sure Blue Diamond's about 20 or so feet tall, uh, probably should be bigger, but I really don't feel like building it up that big. <laughs> and there's a pig stuck <laughs> under it. <laughs> There's a pig stuck under the diamond, under the diamond palanquin. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know what a palanquin is, it's basically like a, uh, a mobile throne. Uh, the diamonds, who are like the main bad guys for uh, the Steven Universe cartoon, uh, they all have one of these, um, or it's assumed they do. Uh, I believe in the show right now we've seen. Blue Diamond's Palanquin and Pink Diamond's Palanquin. And it's assumed that Yellow and, uh... That Yellow Diamond and White Diamond also have Palanquins. Um... And it's funny because... In uh, a recent episode of uh, Steven Universe that I saw... Uh, Steven and his friend Lars actually steal Blue Diamond's Palanquin. So you've got a guy about half, like... If he was in Minecraft, Steven would probably be like half the height of my guy. And here he is jumping in this thing that's meant for, you know, a 30 or so foot tall person and trying to drive it. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at this thing. The mm -hmm. arms of the chair are as tall as I am. So, Blue Diamond to scale and the scale her in Minecraft like here is where her butt goes like right here here's where her butt goes this is where her arms would rest her back and her head would probably be somewhere up here she's a massive massive thing and I think I fucked up on that one leg in front but that's okay uh, because it gets this idea across of this big mechanical spider throne thing uh, that has this kind of weird mesh window look. Um, so that kind of works out. And, and um, I'm just saying, if this thing ever gets this close to Steven's actual house in the cartoon, run Steven. Because, <laughs> like, I could just imagine... You know what? Hold on. I'll get to that in a second. I want to see this. I want to see this. I want to see how this looks. So we go in here. I don't know why that dragon is flapping its jaws. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, Steven, if that ever gets that close, run. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I've built Blue Diamond's palanquin. Uh, right there. Now for this big boy. Fans of the show Adventure Time, another big show for Cartoon Network, should recognize this. This is Flippin' Bemo, the living Game Boy from uh, Adventure Time. And I built this thing solely because a lot of my childhood was spent playing games on Game Boy. And uh, back when the crap wasn't rechargeable. Uh, I mean, you had, like, if you were going for a nice long gaming session, you had to keep a stack of batteries around, and, you know, nowadays, saying that kind of thing just makes me feel old, because I know there are, there are people who are, like, never gonna have to deal with that problem, now. But anyway, we have this nice glass opening here on the side to get in. Uh, click. This door offers no privacy. And I actually, like, was going to leave this thing earlier, and there was a sheep just standing there, staring at me. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I used, like, a lot of your brothers and sisters' wool to, to build this. Yeah, go, go fuck yourself. But anyway, this is actually a three-story house. Um, so down here is kind of the mudroom slash workroom. Um... So we have a nice big table, some chairs for people to chill out. Uh, we got an enchanting table, we got a couple furnaces, some cauldrons, some paintings scattered about, the heads of my enemies. Uh, we have some crafting tables, some anvils, some brewing stations when you want to get your drink on, some chests, uh, a lot of glowstone because that's how I like to illuminate shit. Um, you know, some people say, oh, you gotta use torches and whatnot. Now, fuck it, man. There's there's this gold-colored stone that glows. And, you know, you use it right, and it looks pretty okay. So, yeah, go, go fuck yourself on torches. Yeah, and then here we got some, um, some knowledge. This is always important to have knowledge. Uh, so we go up here, climb this ladder, go to the second floor. Uh, more knowledge. Uh, none on that wall. Couldn't find anything to really worked. Um, some plants to liven up the place. Look at this view. Now that is a nice view. Uh, this right here is a fridge, uh, but I, I kind of screwed up on making it. I didn't make it big enough. So if I open that door, those steaks that are uh, shelved back there are going to get smashed. That's why I can't yeah, I, I screwed up, and uh, I just don't feel like working this out, because if I extend it out, then it's going to be in the way, and yeah, whatever. Uh, here we got a jukebox, some tunes, a big-ass TV, because everything I build has to have a big-ass TV in it. Uh, I will try to figure out where to put a big-ass TV inside the palanquin. I don't know when Blue Diamond would bother to watch said big ass TV, but you know what the hell, hey, if it keeps you from invading Earth, I'll build you the biggest damn TV in the world. Uh, anyway, we got some nice, uh, we got we got a love seat here. Uh, I guess it's more like a small couch, because love seats are supposed to be two-seaters, and this looks like you can seat at least three. Uh, anyway, whatever. Uh, nice, nice table, nice wraparound couch, another end table with some uh, more flowers to liven up the place. Uh, a hell of a lot more glowstone. Not a whole lot going on in here. Just built this because of, you know, my childhood loving the Game Boy and BMO being a living Game Boy. The more I look at that town, the more I want to build just some ominous freaking thing that just looms over it. I just need to find, like, the right cartoon character, or I might just break down and make, like, a creepypasta Slenderman thing just looming over the town. Uh, here we have Ryu fighting the Hand of Fate. Uh, more glowstone. Kind of like an armory slash trophy area here, uh, with diamond armor and sword, gold on armor and sword. Uh, chest to store some more stuff. A, um, what is that called? Idol of, uh, Undying. 
And then back here, we have uh, my bedroom. I need to drop down this floating too much. We have the bedroom, there's the clock. Uh, we have some more knowledge. Uh, another chest for storage. Uh, you can't really see it because of the way I've built this little room. That's actually a B, letter B on the outside. Uh, nice big, I guess you could call this a queen sized bed. A terracotta uh, end table. And a redstone uh, lamp. For reading all this knowledge. And, uh, yeah, I know I'm saying uh, a lot, but really, this is what I've been doing. I'm going to build a Teen Titans house eventually. But I'm really thinking hard about what to build over that freaking place. And I know certain people I know are going to see this video and say, Oh, build the damn Death Star. You know how long it will take to build the damn Death Star. It's also not a cartoon. Uh, I would build Castle Grayskull because it's kind of ugly, but... It's also heroic, and I want something like pure effing evil. I wonder if there's a Skeletor castle built somewhere. To the internet! <laughs>